what's going on guys welcome back to low country fishing and look how beautiful it is out here today man i just got off work we just got the sea hunt dropped in here we're fishing out of butterbean beach in savannah georgia today and man i could not be more excited to fish today man it seems like the weather has been kind of uh good than bad than good than bad and doesn't seem like i can line up a really nice weather trip or get some good weather offshore to make a run out there but you know what Today's the day we're gonna make it happen. The weatherman's actually calling for single digits out of the west. Wave duration is about nine seconds and wave height is right around two feet. So if those conditions can hold, it should be nice out there. Now, the whole goal for today is to get my buddy Randy on some big fish. He doesn't do a lot of offshore fishing. And if I can get out there and maybe bump into some uh, big old flounder, maybe some big red snapper, maybe find another school of bull reds, that would absolutely make my day. Now, me personally, I want to pull up as many big keeper sized black sea bass as I can uh, because I want to do a nice fish taco dinner for the family tonight. Uh, I've been really craving some fish tacos and I'm hoping that today's the day that I'll be able to bring some home to them. So that's all we got. Let's get out here. Let's catch some fish. And as always, thanks for the support, you guys. There's one. Oh yeah, get this big mama here. All right, let's see what we got. So here's our structure right down here, sitting in, uh, yeah, sitting in 39 feet of water. And uh, you guys can probably see right here, marking some good little bait on top of the structure. It's just kind of moving around a little bit. Um, but the container ship down there, or the ship that's down there, uh, honestly, I don't know how tall it is. But I know we were at about 44 feet or so, and then once we hit this thing, or set up on top of this thing it uh it jumped up to about 39 feet or so so we're definitely on top of it so what we're going to do here is just kind of uh jig some bucktails i've got those spro bucktails that i've used in my last offshore trip uh, i'm throwing a green and white randy's throwing a hot pink hot pink and white just kind of varying some colors these are about three ounce uh spro jigs i'm gonna bounce them kind of jig them around uh, another thing too, you guys can just set these things up in a rod holder. When you're out here in conditions where it's not dead flat and the boat is kind of moving up and down, you can you can holster that rod and as the boat goes up, it will basically jig that rod for you and you don't have to do all the hard work. Come on up. Could be a red. What is that? Big toad. <laughs> well, we found the structure. We found old, old toady here. Not the target species of the day. I will not be cooking this guy for dinner.
All right, Randy gets to pay for gas. <laughs> we made a bet who would catch the first fish, fish gets to pay for gas, but we're not going to do that. <laughs> I'll swim back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on in the back too. <laughs> Let me just come tight with this one. <laughs> well, we just got set up on our spot and dropped down. I'm going to have to fight this fish. This is a big one too. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> got you. <laughs> If you want the little rot butt, you can have it too. All right, what we got, what we got. I haven't even got a chance to put all the rods up yet. She's coming up, whatever she is. Is that yours? Yeah, that's yours. I got the net here, I can help you net. All right. That circle hook is down. Nice red, dude. Yeah, it is a red. That's a nice red. Huh, huh, huh. Got her. Ooh, nice fish. All right, my chest cam died, so we're just gonna put this right here. And let's see if this is a. I bet we just dropped down onto a school of reds. Yeah, you can handle your fish. Did you, you, did you put her back already? No, I'm back. Oh, okay. We can show her off. It'd be nice if I can get mine up real quick and we can, we can, we can double. I bet this is a red. This is a big red. <laughs> this is awesome. So, what we did first, you guys, is we went uh, on one of the closer wrecks at about the seven mile mark. And uh, we didn't really get anything great. We were noticing there were a lot of boats moving, constantly shifting from one spot to the next. Thanks. And I told Randy, I said, man, it's, it's okay out there. It's not too rough. Let's just make a big run. And that's what we did. That's another big red. We just doubled up on reds, buddy. Yes. Let's go. I got a big one too. <laughs> you leave her. Leave her. We'll get a picture with both. She's got a lot of oxygen in her because it's winter. You want to help me uh, boat this fish? <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> That's a mistake. Bang! All right, I got her. That is 40 inch redfish. First drop. <laughs> That's a monster. Randy, on the other hand, he's got one too. Go ahead and pick her up. Let's hold them both up. <laughs> there we go, guys. Doubled up on the very, very first drop. We're gonna go ahead and get these girls back in. I got a dead GoPro on my chest, so. Awesome. Yeah, so we just dropped, we just got to the spot, you guys. We literally just dropped down. Randy was able to jig his up with a vertical jig, or not a vertical, but that uh, Spro Bucktail jig. And I threw a piece of uh, frozen mullet off the back, just soaking on a Carolina rig. And man, that's it. We're gonna continue to do the same process. I gotta get a new battery for my uh, microphone. So if it sounds like the audio dropped out, it's because I don't have my fancy one right here. So. Let's get some more fish. All right, so here's what worked on the first setup out here. This is basically what I use for bull red fishing, you guys. Just a Carolina style setup. Actually, not Carolina. I should call it a knocker rig style setup. 
six ounce no roll sinker 80 circle hook 100 pound leader i do have aluminum crimping sleeves crimping them both together this is a 100 pound barrel swivel it does have the bead in it the main line here is 55 or 60 pound power pro i can't remember and that's just a finger mullet that you can get frozen uh, at any tackle shop they all kind of carry the same stuff and that's it we just pushed up just a little bit and we're marking a good amount of bait on top of this piece of structure now kind of had to come off of our mark to go back and rescue that big redfish so now we got to get back out here to our hump where they were so these redfish are out here you guys they are moving around uh, on these wrecks and reefs so if you catch a couple on one reef or sorry on one piece of structure uh, they may not stay they may get a, a little bit nervous or stressed out and wind up moving uh, so if they wind up you know you, you catch a few and you don't catch some it's because they're on the move. Here we go. I feel the structure down there now. Oh, man, I'm getting hit immediately. Down. Be a nice bass. That thing hit immediately, man. Yeah, that's a nice bass. Come on up, baby. Nope, I don't think you're going to make 13. Another fat, fat 12. Got to keep my bait, though. Let's see, we're right here. Yeah, 12. One more inch. So if you're inside of three miles, you guys, 12-inch sea bass for Georgia waters. You're outside of three miles, 13-inch sea bass. So make sure you guys are looking that up if you're going to be a little bit further out. Make sure you're looking at what the uh, federal regulations are as far as uh, size and keeper limits. There we go. This might be a keeper bass. Oh yeah, that's a keeper. <laughs> Look at that tank. <laughs> no, it's okay. She is thick, super thick. I just wonder if she'll make make uh, make length unless she goes off. Easy, easy, easy. Come on back. There we go. There's our 13. 13 and a quarter. Beautiful sea bass. Big old thick girl. <laughs> she's fat because she's all bloated up with air. But... All right, we got two. I only need two more, Randy. We got a nice dinner at the back of the house. Get on in there. All right, so here's how you vent them when they come up. Find that little that little fin here. You just go one to two fingers behind it. Slide up underneath the little scale. And you just let it go, just like you guys heard. That's it. And she's vented. Get the hook out and she's good to go.